Uh, this is from Wang Su, who's in hospital at the moment, and he wants to keep up to date with his economics. Uh, so, welcome back. We're looking at negative externalities arising in production, the government response to it, and how this is affected if the market structure is not perfectly competitive, but in this case it's a monopoly. Well, as you can see, the best output level for society is where the SMC curve cuts the SMB curve, the demand curve in this case. The output level is Q star and the price is P star. Uh, we know that the social marginal cost equals the private marginal cost plus the external marginal cost, in this case, the pollution. So the government response generally is to impose a tax. A tax forces the monopolist to internalize the negative externality of the pollution. But in this case, look what happens. SMC is now equal to PMC plus tax. But because the monopolist is a profit maximizer, we move further away from the optimum output level. Take a look at this. The marginal revenue curve, which I've just drawn, means that originally output was set at OQ. As a result of the new marginal cost curve, which is the same as the social marginal cost curve, output is now OQ1. So what we notice is that as a result of the pollution tax, we move further away from the socially optimum output level. This is an example of what economists call the theory of second best. Thank you. How long was that, do you think?